Hi, right, so this is just a quick review of um, some carbon fibre tissue that um, I recently bought off eBay. Um, it's sold uh, here in the UK by a company called Dulux uh, Materials. Um, this is predominantly used by um, people <clears throat> who are building things like uh, radio controlled uh, aeroplanes. Um, but because it's a carbon fibre tissue, I was wondering um, how it would work as a, um, well, as two things really, as a uh, battery kind of current collector and also as a substrate um, for potentially um, putting things like carbon onto. So yeah, what I'm really interested in is um, having a look at this and uh, seeing how conductive it is. So I'm going to open it up and uh, take a look. Okay, so I've got the uh, multimeter switched on onto the um, 200 ohm resistance. So let's just stick it in and see what happens. Okay, as you can hear there, the uh, continuity uh, buzz is going and this is reading at around 5 ohms. So good news is uh, this is uh, pretty conductive. Um, obviously it's not like amazingly conductive, it's not in the kind of sub 1 ohm, but uh, if I kind of stick the probes um, on the um, carbon fibre tissue, you can see that it's uh, reading quite a low resistance. Um, obviously if I had uh, maybe some um, bigger probes or used something like maybe a strip of metal like copper could probably get a lower resistance um, but yeah that's not too bad good news is it's conductive so um, yeah I'm gonna try and incorporate this into uh, um, some kind of a battery setup um, I mean the only thing that's worth mentioning with this is that um, you, you can get this in different thicknesses so I've probably gone for the lightest one which I think is around as it says here is 10 grams per square meter and in terms of the quantity um, there was a measurement on here yeah so you get 73 uh, centimeters by 33 centimeters roll uh, so it's not a huge amount so I can't really go crazy with it and it's also it's quite expensive so um, you're looking at uh, I think this is around 15 pounds including delivery here in the UK um, so yeah it's not the cheapest but uh, yeah I mean you can see it's quite thin and uh, you know you can probably uh, absorb and get some things in here carbons and uh, other types of active material so yeah I think as a substrate and a current collector um, it could work quite well I don't have a kiln or anything like that so um, I wouldn't know if if you whacked it in there for a few hours if you can maybe get the resistance down but either way it's um, not too bad so I think it's um, good enough to um, do some tests with so yeah, I'll um, whack it in a battery setup and hopefully I can uh, do some battery videos uh, with this stuff in there and uh, see where we go from there. Thanks for watching.